Hi guys! Um, so, I've been a bit off YouTube for, um, a f I think it's been a few months actually, which is really bad. Um, I've just been a little bit busy with personal stuff and um, haven't really found the time to do a video. But um, I'm going to try and film a couple today for you and get them up during the week. So the video I'm going to be doing now is a small little review for you. Um, I was kindly contacted by a lovely girl called Amy who wanted to send me a fragrance box. Um, this is the Discovery Club fragrance box from the fragrance shop. Um, the concept is basically they send you a box. It's sort of like glossy box and things like that um, filled with... Um, fragrance samples. So the basic idea is that you can try out a bunch of perfumes before you commit to buying them. Um, in the box I sent, I got sent, I was sent the fifth edition um, and in this one you get nine but I believe you only usually get five. But in this box there is nine. I'll quickly go through them all and then I'll have a little talk with you about it. Uh, the first one is the Gucci Guilty Eau de Toilette. Like then there is the Terry Mugler Alien Eau de Toilette, comes in a little box. Then another Terry Mugler one is um, the Angel Eau de Toilette, which is fell out. Sorry, I'm a bit croaky as well. Um, my wisdom tooth is coming through and my throat is hurting, so it's not very pleasant. Um, next one is the Hugo Boss. Um, eau de toilette which is for men so in this box you do get men and women samples which I think is quite nice because if you have a man in your life you could give them to him to try out see if he likes them um, next one is the Givenchy very ir irresistible eau de toilette then the Nina Nina Ritchie eau de toilette I need to stop saying eau de toilette don't I <laughs> comes in one like that then another Hugo Boss one, um, again it's one for him, that one smells really nice actually, I can smell it through the thingy. <laughs> then there is a <clears throat> Izzy Miyaki, I think is how you say it, Lou Dizzy Pour Homme, so that's for men as well. And then a Jean-Paul Gaultier Classic Coach product. Um, comes in a little box I really like this with the little tissue paper and stuff which is really nice. I've had this for a few weeks now. Um, when I was in contact with Amy she said she sent it out and then um, it came pretty much the day after or two days after so really quick delivery. Came in no time. <clears throat> um, overall I think it is a nice concept to sort of try the perfumes out before you buy them again with these little atom atomizers they're really great because you can just shove them in your bag pop them in your bag and you've just got perfume wherever you go really because i find personally carrying around like big perfume bottles and stuff is quite annoying and it makes your bag quite heavy so i think having these to sort of throw in your bag and try out on a daily basis is quite nice I believe Frankie got sent this box as well and she um, did tell me that apparently you can get these samples behind perfume counters if you just ask for them. So I did a bit of research into that and I read a lot of blog posts and people were saying that they can't actually get them. They've been into like um, big department stores um, and boots and places like that and they've asked for samples and they can't actually get them. So if that is the actual case, I don't personally go and ask for perfume samples. If I want to try it out, I'll just spray it on one of those little cardboard things. But um, I find that these are quite hard to come by. So I think it is a nice idea, personally. The um, one downfall, though, is that in some of these, the um, bottles are, like, half empty. I don't think that is the... Um, fragrance shop's fault, it's obviously the um, perfume maker's fault. Um, but if you can see that, which you might not be able to, I haven't used this one. I've sprayed it probably once and it's like half full. And I ha definitely haven't used the men's one. And as you can see, it's like half full. Um, so that is a bit of a bummer. But 
I um, have been enjoying this. I've liked testing them out and I would recommend this if I'm honest, I would. I would like to try it again because I love testing out different perfumes. Um, out of this box, the ones I've been really liking are the Nina Ritchie one and the uh, Givenchy one. Uh, those those are probably my two favourite out of the box. Um, I also gave my mum this one to try out, which is the Terry Mugula. I can never pronounce his name. It's Mugula, isn't it? Terry Mugula. 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 <laughs> the Terry Mugula one. And um, this is the Alien one. I find this is quite sort of for the older lady. And she really enjoys that. And there's also men's ones, like I said. So... You could give them to your boyfriend or your dad or something and if he likes them then you could buy them for him as a gift for a special occasion um now the best bit i personally think of this is the fact that you get a little booklet with it um it first of all at the beginning it just tells you about the perfumes that you've got in the box um tells you what they smell like and stuff and then if you go towards the back you have some like little vouchers which i think is great um, it's £5 off per perfume um, from the fragrance shop. Uh, you can do it in-store or online. If you want to do it online, there's a little code that it tells you. Um, and yeah, you basically get £5 off a... Ooh. Yeah, so you basically get £5 off. It has to be like a certain mil. So for instance, the um, Nina Ritchie one, you have to buy the 50 mil or above. Uh, Gucci one you have to buy 30 mil or above yep and stuff like that so you get five pound vouchers at the back and to, in total there is 45 pound worth of vouchers inside so that is great um now if you can I can't really give a like amazing review on this because I don't know personally if you can get samples from behind counters like very easily but from what I read it seems that it's quite hard to do so if you can't then i think this is a great idea to sort of try out fragrances but if you can then maybe some improvement might be needed but overall i enjoyed this i like this box it's nice um something different isn't it instead of just like having glossy boxes and um what's the other box i can't remember those kind of boxes because you do get some perfume samples in those but nowhere near as many as these so yeah overall i think this is a really sort of nice idea and i would try it again to be honest i would so yep that is the review i hope you i hope i hope you liked it i'm not sort of like i can't speak that well because i haven't filmed in a while but i've tried to explain it as best i can um yeah, I really like it. Uh, if you want to give it a go, I'll pop the link in the description below for you to go have a look at the website. Um, oh, I didn't even mention, did I? It's um, £5 per box, so not very expensive, really. And you can try out the perfumes from, like, your comfort your own home. You don't have to go out searching for them. Um, so, yeah, £5 per box. It's a quarterly box, so it's not, like, every month or anything. And, yeah, I think it's a nice concept. I like it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to film my makeup collection for you now because um, I've redid my room sort of. It's not done yet, so I can't do a room tour or anything like that. But um, my desk area is sort of done. So I will do a makeup collection for you. Um, yeah, anyway, I hope you like this video and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.